Well, there's now a new trail in southeast Louisiana commemorating the 1811 Slaver's Bolt that began in St. John the Baptist Parish. This trail tells this tale of what some call America's first freedom march. As Tan Trong reports, a painful part of Louisiana history is now presenting a very unique opportunity. It can be easy to marvel at the manicured grounds of plantations in the river parishes. But that singular focus could overlook the brutality once endured here. Rita Paralu is part of a group highlighting that history. We are not the descendants of slaves. We are the descendants of people who were enslaved. Are you hearing me? We are not the descendants of slaves. We are the descendants of people who were enslaved and fought for their freedom since 1811 until today. And I said, oh, there you go. go. <laughs> to commemorate the 1811 slave revolt in the river parishes, the region's tourist commission dedicated a new 10 mile trail. It begins where the revolt began, at the 1811 Kid Ori Historic House. It ends at the Destrehan Plantation, where trials were held after the rebellion was put down. Back then, the 500 or so people who revolted were called slaves. Today, they're considered freedom fighters. Freedom or death. If you were in bondage and you had to go through what they went through, that's a viable choice. On the same soil where African Americans had no freedom 200 years ago, a black member of Louisiana's River Parish's Tourist Commission today speaks of the economic and educational value of visiting plantations. It gives you chills when you go there. You can feel the hair moving on your arms. But it's an important place for us to visit to help us to remember. Tourism officials point out that during the time of the slave revolt, the river parishes were home to millionaires, arguably one of the wealthiest times for Louisiana but because of slavery, one of the darkest chapters for America. We're here today at the beginning of Black History Month on purpose. Black History Month is to honor the journey of all black people in America, and that journey included the 1811 slave revolt. To mark the unveiling of the trail, an audio download narrated by actor Wendell Pierce is now available. The 1811 Slave Revolt Trail follows the path of America's first freedom march. But those behind this effort hope you'll give monetary and moral support by experiencing this trail in person. In Destrehan, Tan Trung, Eyewitness News. A lot of education out there on the River Parishes. I hope you all decide to take that trip. Well, this year marks the 210th anniversary of the Slave Revolt. We have more about the new trail and ticket information. Just go to our website, wwltv.com, and click on this story.